this idea of pulling your arm through that just went between my legs <laughs> what's up everybody jordan from ginger snap disc golf here today we're talking about a drill based off of a video that i made a couple of weeks ago based on this idea of pulling the disc through versus pushing it through it actually kind of caused a little bit more debate than i thought it would either way uh, in that video, I said that I was going to create a drill to help this idea of learning how to pull the disc through. So that's what this is. As you can tell from the thumbnail of this video, the name of the drill is called the no look drill. To do this drill, basically what you're going to do is position yourself in this staggered stance with your plant foot directly in front of you. And then your back foot, not completely behind your plant foot, but just staggered off a little bit to the left. And then from this stance, what you're going to do is coil your shoulders as if you're about to throw the disc. Then keep your head focused dead straight in front of you, possibly even looking a little bit down, and then pull the disc through. Very, very simple drill. Basically in this stance, it forces you to get your arm ahead of your shoulders, and it teaches you to pull the disc through instead of pushing the disc through with your shoulders because you're so closed off in this stance that you pretty much have no option other than to pull the disc through and you notice that my head and my shoulders and my chest stay parallel to the camera and my arm gets way further ahead of me. You're probably wondering why is this even important? What's the difference between pushing the disc through and pulling the disc through? And I'll link that video somewhere in the description. The whole idea of it basically is teaching your body to pull the disc through because you're going to be able to pull your arm through a whole lot quicker than you can push your shoulders and your torso through. So the whole idea of it is that a pull through with your arm is a whole lot quicker than a push through with your shoulders. Again, with this drill, you get in this staggered stance position, coil your shoulders, and pull the disc through, and then eventually allow your body to follow through. The focus of this is keeping your head down and not looking to see where the disc is going to go. Something you need to remember when you're doing this drill is I would suggest not trying to pull the disc through as hard as you can because your body is in an awkward position. So in order to prevent injury, I would definitely suggest not trying to pull the disc through as hard as you can. The point of this drill is not to try to generate more power or anything like that. It is simply to teach your body this idea of pulling your arm through. That just went between my legs. <laughs> the whole idea is to teach your arm and teach yourself to pull your arm through before moving your shoulders and your head into the rest of the throw. So if you do end up deciding to pull the disc through a little bit harder, be sure that you allow your body to follow through. You can still focus your head in one position and then let your body follow through with the rest of your weight. Again, this is gonna prevent any kind of injury because your body is in an awkward position and still I would suggest not pulling through as hard as you can, but if you do wanna pull through a little bit harder, like at 50% or something, make sure you allow your body to follow through. Once you get comfortable with the standstill position of doing this, you can, if you wanna add some variation, you can add a full walk up to this, but the same principles apply in, this, in the full walk up. You want to keep your head in a fixed position and then pull your arm through without looking to see where the disc is going to go. Again, when you're doing this, even if you add the full walk up, the whole idea is you want to keep your head down, not looking where you're throwing, because a lot of times, one of the reasons we will try to push the disc through is because we are trying to look and see where the disc is going before we throw it. And then usually wherever your head looks, your shoulders are gonna follow. So this could be a lot of your issue when it comes to pushing the disc through versus pulling the disc through. Another cool thing about this drill is since you are going to be in this kind of standstill position and you're just simply teaching yourself to pull the disc through while keeping your shoulders and your head locked into position. So if you wanna practice angles, it's pretty simple to do that as well while you're practicing this drill. If you wanna practice hyzer, you can simply get in this coiled position and just lean forward a little bit and you're gonna have a hyzer release. If you want to practice a flat release angle, you can just coil and keep your body as upright as possible and it's gonna teach a little bit more flat. Lastly, if you wanna practice anhyzer, you can get in this coiled position and actually lean back a little bit and then still pull through and that will teach you a little bit better angle control as well and teaching you how to throw those angles while keeping your head down, which is always a good thing. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably gonna be less than like a five minute video. Super easy drill. If you don't have access to any form of net to throw into, I would suggest going into a very wide open spacious field with short grass so you don't have to worry about losing your disc because again, 
the whole idea of this no look drill is to keep your head down and not look and see where the disc is going because that's going to teach you to pull your arm through keep your shoulders and your head locked into the power pocket as long as you can and then launch the disc out if you want to see more videos like this i have them up on the channel hope you all enjoyed it i hope this helps leave a comment of any ideas that you might have as well to teach more about how to pull the disc through instead of pushing it through always love to hear from y'all in the comments that's all i got for y'all today as always stay snappy love y'all go throw some no look shots and see if it helps